What's up, hey, what's up, everybody? Um, David from TurnFit is here with us again, and Dr. Nick, of course. Uh, for those of you who don't know me on that side. Yeah. We've got two cameras going, yeah. so we're trying to... We're multitasking. We're multitasking. Yeah, we're not built to multitask, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so what we want to talk about today is we had a great conversation just around um, you know, the, the different generations of people um, and where their mindset is at regarding health. Yeah, so um, I always like collecting data and just asking people questions. And just recently, I kind of discovered just by asking more questions and seeing the same type of people coming, um, people in their early 20s, like around 23-ish, seem to create, care a great deal about prevention. And I was like, that's super interesting, because mm -hmm. many of the people that I met, not everybody, but many people that I met uh, 40 plus, kind of don't care as much about prevention. It's more about... Uh, making lots of money and waiting till I'm in a lot of pain, just fix that one pain and then I can go back to making lots of money. <laughs> it's so true and, it, and it, obviously this doesn't encompass everybody. No, a no. lot of you that watch this are probably in the camp of the more of the 22 yes. year old mindset but it's just the general population and it's, and it's interesting because you know we're, I'm almost 40, turning 40 in a couple of months and the, you know, my friends and, and people that I know in my age group Definitely, this was not really something that was a huge part of growing up for us. And but definitely, you know, as the gen generations go by, there's more and more information about organic food and you know spending time in, in nature and exercise and all these things. So I think there's it's just part of the early childhood and lifestyle upbringing. Yeah, and in in both of our uh, industries, we notice that prevention is way easier, especially if you have less things, that bad habits from before. You can still yeah. fix it. That's it's not saying it's uh, not possible. Um, like you have older clients, I have older clients, my oldest one's 92, mm -hmm. he still does all the things he loves. Yeah. Um, again, that's rare because most people are trapped in a mindset, like I'm a certain age, I'm mm -hmm. supposed to be in pain. Yeah, and, so. and you know what, we've all bought the idea that as we get older, we just, we move into de degeneration, like things just start to break. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we have to do a mindset shift for our patients when they say, I'm getting old, like I'm expected to have sore joints and not sleep well and gain weight and, and you know the story that we keep telling ourselves about, about the aging process and that's just not true. Yeah. We don't have to buy into that belief system but know this, it's not necessarily your fault, it's just what, what you've been led to believe, it's just yeah. it's what you've been ingrained, it's, it's, in our, it's in our collective consciousness and it doesn't need to be there, right? And, and before when we were younger, we were moving a lot more, like before 20, the first 20 years of our life we were probably really active. Yeah super active and then if we spend 20 more years of being not active at all and then we're like oh I'm supposed to have knee pain well yes at that point you will have knee pain but you're not supposed to you yeah. can, can get rid of that totally. um, and it just takes some habits that's why I, I really like prevention yeah. it's super fun to talk about when people actually get it because yeah. it's very minor things that you have to incorporate in your lifestyle versus fixing and rehabbing something mentally physically whatever it is yeah. you can do it's just a little bit more time consuming yeah. so instead of like a month fix Maybe it's two years, yeah. but two years in the grand scheme of things is nothing, especially so with all the technology small. that's coming our way, like we were just talking about different technologies, mm -hmm. more like awareness where we make our own decisions, because um, as humans we're supposed to and we used to be really in tune with ourselves, mm -hmm. and then at some point many of us, not all of us, aren't in tune and we have no clue what's happening, so now we need technology to kind of bring it back and be like, hey, uh, you need to get to bed earlier. Oh, okay, great. Thank you for telling me. Yeah, I mean, we were just talking about the aura ring, right? The aura yeah. ring is something that, that, that literally tracks your sleep, your your ability to get into REM sleep or deep sleep, and looks at heart rate variability, looks at a lot, a lot of these different things. And, you know, we do this with checking people's blood work. If you don't know how your body's operating, if you don't have that awareness, that knowledge, yeah. it's really hard to make decisions. You know, and, and let's take the, the example of, say, knee pain. You know, in that older generation model, knee pain eventually equals surgery, yeah. right? This is just how you fix things. It's broken, so you go to the surgeon, you repair it. Well, in the model that, that we teach, the model of the younger generation is starting to understand how my posture is, how I move my body, how I lift things, how I squat, how I move throughout my day is gonna determine the quality of that joint, right? Exactly, yeah, so I think as long as we're given the choice, uh, empowered. So again, if they needed knee surgery or they thought they needed knee surgery, if, if the person they're interacting with was be like, okay, well, it's not just because your knee is old, mm -hmm. uh, it's because your walking pattern was not proper for 40 years. Yeah. Maybe let's experiment first for a year or two. Uh, you just doing a daily exercise, maybe one to three minutes long for your foot. Maybe you don't need it anymore, that yeah. surgery, because 
the sad thing is that people get surgery hoping that it'll just fix things, mm -hmm. but then it goes back to old things, and then they actually have less mobility, and they're like, oh darn, I was really hoping that surgery would just fix everything for me. And then I can't even imagine how demoralizing mentally that would be. And, and that's part of the prevention mindset, is it empowering yourself so you know that you can take action to, to make huge, huge changes in your life with small implementation. Yeah. And it's just successive daily, you know, sometimes just weekly effort on these small little things yeah. which have a huge, huge outcome. Exactly. Right. And it all comes down to, again, just awareness. The more things that you can slowly become aware of, um, whether it's good or bad, yeah. just as long as we're present and kind of aware, as simple as like we were talking earlier about even just being mindful of food. Yeah. You could try so many different diets. At least just write down what you're eating. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in an app. I like to use my fitness pal because it's free. Yeah. Uh, and then you're aware, like, okay, well, maybe I would have had six cookies. I'm only going to have one because I now know what's <laughs> a little bit in there if I'm just focusing on just simply calories in oh, and calories out. But so true. then you feel more empowered. You're like, oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we, we all have our, you know, we're running on like 95% of our day is subconscious programming, right? Yeah. It's just we we are we're just dry we're we're in the we're maybe in the in the passenger seat not so not necessarily driving most of our day yeah. and if we can start to bring awareness through objectivity through testing through looking at our own numbers we can start to make better decisions and actually get back in the driver's seat right yeah and it's super cool and it's it's way easier than you would think it's just we're constantly being sold that it's something else is easier when inevitably the hard part is uh that eventually people do come back and like okay what is this prevention thing yeah because they tried this pill, that surgery, this, this, oh, this, and something has all constantly let them down. Like, okay, like marketing, I guess is very good for those companies. <laughs> for sure, well, yeah, obviously. It's working really well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so, yeah, so we're here to kind of just give you tools, both of our industries, we just give you the tools and empower you. We don't tell you what to do, we'll yeah. give you as much facts, and then at the end of the day, you can choose to do it, mm -hmm. which is the nice thing. There you go. So uh, again, a reminder for any of you who have not yet joined our Dr. Jensen tribe, you go in there, you can learn from this amazing individual, get a free month of online training so you can start implementing some of these movement tools. Uh, if you go onto our website, you can download the fasting ebook and learn a little bit more about how you can implement fasting, which is one of our core tools yeah. that we teach into, our, into your lifestyle. So, you know, as David and I always do together, this is why we connect so well, we're trying to always give away as much information as possible so you can feel empowered. Yeah. And just having a prevention mindset and understanding that reversing an illness is a much longer process. So if you can dial into prevention, you're, I mean, you're, you're, you're literally saving your body, you're saving your, your, your mind, you're saving your finances, because you're putting them into areas that don't have to be a last, you know, your last chance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So unfortunately, you have to do a little work, <laughs> or fortunately, however you want to look yeah. at it. But it's actually less work at the end of the day. Like, it really it's, is. It's, it's really cool, and you become to... I never was like this either. You just kind of thrive on it and be like, oh, it's like a video game. Like, oh, I can't believe I feel like this now. I wonder if I did this and this and this. Yeah. Now what are the things? And you don't have to implement everything right away. Yeah. Because um, if you implement too fast stuff, everything, it sometimes it just yeah, falls apart. But if it's a simple task, you're like, this only takes two minutes extra of my day. But it saved me so much in the long term. Yeah. Cool. There you go. So would you either spend time worrying about all the things that are going wrong, or you take action, and start to work on a couple of things that you can take control of. I like right? that. And that, that's, that's the message for today. Cool. All, All right, right, buddy. Cheers. That's it for today. Have Bye. a good week, guys.